Lions football. I'm fucked. <laughs> Hello? Hey, this is uh, Coach P, the Los Angeles Rams. Peyton Barber began his sophomore season at Auburn as the third string running back, but he ended up rushing for 1,000 yards and 13 touchdowns. Despite the high risks of the NFL draft process, Peyton decided to leave school early to help support his mom, who didn't have a home of her own. Thank you for this opportunity to come together as family and friends with Peyton. And um, whatever happens, we're going to trust you with Peyton in your precious and holy name. Amen. 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 Well, why did you decide to declare for the draft? We've been having like some family you know, problems and stuff like that for a while that a lot of people didn't really know how that I was going through. When you come home and it's like you got all these people living in your house and including me, it's like five people sleeping in one room sometimes. That's a hard thing to see. Like, And then um, you know, I just wanted to help my family out and provide for them. That was my main reason. Your son made a big decision. He's leaving school early um, so that he can help you out. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? He said, look, I need to help provide for my family. You know, I kind of like wanted to cry when I heard him say that. But, you know, of course, I just, you know, just kind of like was all I could do is I said, well, that, that, that's the way he feels. Do you think you would have left college early if you had been in some way compensated throughout college? No, honestly. Peyton was featured in our Vice on HBO documentary, End of Amateurism, covering the debate over whether college athletes should be prohibited from profiting off of their athletic ability. Do you think college athletes should be paid? I think we should, and you know, I'll probably get a lot of backlash for it. There's a lot of people that say, oh, well, they get a full scholarship and a lot of these kids ruin it, but I mean, it's like, what about the kids who actually work hard and go to class and, you know, care about their education? And at the same time, we, at least for our school, we bring in the majority of the money. You know, you're bringing in over well, 80 million to 100 million dollars a year or something like that for a school. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not asking for anything, but at the same time, it's, I'm kind of asking for things like, that's hard. You know? Yeah, because what's it like seeing all the ticket sales, seeing them sell all this stuff? Yeah. Coaches making over a million, so much money being brought into the school and then yeah. you're and not it, being paid. It's kind of like these people don't see half the things that we have to go through. I mean, getting up 5, 4, 45 in the morning, going to work out during the season, you go to class until 1 o'clock, um, and then you get out, you go to practice, you have meetings all day, and I mean, your day's really not over until 8 or 9 o'clock, and then you're expected to maintain a, a good GPA. Do you see it as a job? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Today will be the day that I'm predicted to go on the draft. So, we'll just have to see. Top NFL draft picks immediately sign million dollar contracts, but the financial security drops significantly as the draft progresses into the later rounds. Experts predicted Peyton would be drafted in the last four rounds of the seven round draft. Peyton and his friends gathered to celebrate the beginning of his new career in the NFL. I love you, brother. You too, man. Yeah, man. How you been? I'm good, man. I'm good. Just waiting? Yeah. Yeah. Shoot, the sooner the better. I don't want to sound like money hungry, but the more money. <laughs> so, you should be like that. You should be like that. They're, being just the, they're the opposite, right? Yeah. Get this kid as low as I can get him and make it save me money. That's, where it's, that's the problem you have. What if I get a call sometimes, too? Travis Feeney. Got All right, adding a defender. Really Gainesville member calling me. I don't know. Hello? Hey. Hey. Nah, not yet. I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to see. Oh, 
Champions Football. I'm fucked. <laughs> Hello? Hey, this is uh, Coach Pete with the Wolf Knight and the Ram. I just want to let you know that I'm very excited about you and that I'm going to study and watch you on the film. Uh, think you're a heck of a football player. Oh, thank you. I All appreciate right? it. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, sounds good. Bye. He said... So we're going to see pretty much. Each round, each pick that goes by means less money for him if he eventually gets picked. It's just kind of like the not knowing, the uncertainty that's the toughest part today. Here to announce the Steelers' sixth round pick. Oh so Alex Collins got picked up by the Seahawks. No, I said Alex Collins did. Hello? Okay, hey, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. Yes, sir. All right, go. All right. Just keep on talking about like free free agents, free agency. If, if I don't get picked up, stuff like that. Why don't we do it quietly? Do we quiet, sir? We're just not in the mood right now. <laughs> so we're really talking. All right. Good. It's all good. <laughs> had about 12 teams that have been calling and they want him automatically for free agency. Yeah. So what they're doing right now is making some offers of what they would offer basically as far as for him signing on as a free okay. agent. Right now we, we have a small window. Yeah. So his agent is working with and talking to a few teams right now. Tampa Bay is leading right now so they want him immediately. We have to make a decision within the next couple of minutes. So I like Tampa Bay though. Yeah. But I mean, I mean Warmer weather. Yeah. How's the money situation? Don't tell me what it is, but how does it look? I mean, they all both offer the same thing. No, Tampa Bay offers more money. Okay. Well, that that helps a little bit. It's Tampa. What do you what do you say? Sure. Huh? Yeah. Done deal. Tampa. Undrafted players still have the opportunity to sign with pro teams, but they have a slimmer chance of making teams and receive far less money. Peyton attended training camp with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He was cut from the team just before the season began, but in the days after, an injury to a teammate gave Peyton the opportunity to make the active roster, and he's been on the team ever since. Money, the money's definitely been helping, been helping us out a lot. Average lifespan of a running back is two and a half years or something like that. New guys coming in every day, you know, competing for the same spot that you have. If it's gonna be here today, it can be gone the next. That Sunday, Peyton scored a 44-yard touchdown, his first in the NFL. Well, mom's good, mom's good. Uh, I got her an apartment, um, but uh, you know, hopefully at the end of the season, you know, if I make enough money, I'd like to get a house. After the season, Peyton's mom texted us, Peyton is a true man of his word. He bought us a house. 